I got it right after their second season of Girls, and it was uh, something different um, that, uh, y you know, a romantic comedy. It seemed like something that, oh, you don't get a... I never th thought someone would ask me to do that. Uh, and it seemed like a world that I'd never been in. And, and to, you know, go to Toronto with this group of people for a couple weeks and play around and read this kind of uh, character seemed like a really fun thing to do. Alan is a, he's a fun character. He draws these really weird comparisons and mine kind of operates a little bit faster than maybe his mouth does. Or maybe that's the opposite, actually. His mouth kind of operates faster than his mind does. <laughs> I think they're pretty incredible. I mean, I had most of the stuff to work with Dan, but just um, he's so relaxed and at ease and makes everyone feel relaxed and at ease and uh, very comfortable and free to fail and try new things. And uh, it was a very good, I would say, leader on set as a very... Uh, like sharp mind and quick wit, and he just kind of knows um, what he's doing. I mean, that's such a general thing to say, but uh, it's hard to have all these people, uh, to have someone encompass as many skills and talents as he does, and be at ease with everything. And I knew Zoe from uh, theater in, in New York, and she's a pretty incredible actor. Every day was kind of just fun and exploratory, I'd say. You know, like, um, Michael is very good at setting boundaries for, he's very clear with what the story he's trying to tell, but makes everyone feel at ease that they can, they are totally free to fail and improv and try something better and the best idea wins. And that's always kind of a fun atmosphere to go to work in.